We've just arrived at David Halsey's farm in South Lincolnshire. Now, four weeks ago, David, we, we didn't see a great deal of disease, did we? So have we seen a bit of a difference now? Yeah, very much so. I think uh, I was fairly laid back about uh, the disease in the crops that we had seen. Um, I was thinking that we wouldn't bother with many T0 applications um, and then we'll wait and see what happens at T1. Well, since you last came, you know, we've had some indifferent weather. We've had rust come onto the scene in some varieties we weren't expecting and, uh, and we've seen a lot of septoria that I guess was lying on those bottom leaves and uh, has come out to express itself. So um, my plans of not doing many T0s so have probably backfired a bit because we're now going to struggle to keep up at T1 timing. We're looking at some wheat in David Halsey's farm and we're seeing some signs of septoria fairly high up in the crop. Is that worrying, Fiona? It's almost what you would expect on the you know, middling varieties where we've had this amount of, of moisture. Um, so it's there on, it's somewhere between leaf four and leaf five at, you know, levels that are certainly above 10%, 15% even. So yeah, that's quite a lot of disease at a, a high point in the crop. Leaf three is now emerging, so obviously Again, those wet conditions, those spores will be transferring almost immediately onto those clean leaves. OK, so we'd probably be looking at a fairly robust T1 that probably might go on in the next few days. Yes, um, certainly on a variety like this where you know, we're sitting in that middle ground um, resistance-wise. The nice thing we've seen at this site, though, is that the more resistant varieties, that septoria is at lower levels and it's at least a leaf layer further down in the crop. So scope to tailor what you're doing based on that risk. So the wheat crops here are around about the T1 stage. So what should the growers be thinking about? Should they be thinking SDHI or not SDHI? Well, it's quite a forward crop that we've been looking at here and, and quite a lot of varieties within that. Um, and there's quite huge differences between the amount of septoria in some of those varieties, between the susceptibles and the less susceptible varieties. And I think that's how we should separate our decision making at T1. And those less susceptible varieties, I think, probably do demand this season, given the rainfall we've had and given the disease we're seeing in them, an STHI treatment. But the less susceptible varieties, the disease is a leaf lower, it's not sporulating as much. And it's not going to sporulate as much and it's not going to accelerate as quickly and I think those are the situations where we can perhaps use uh, a less robust strategy to look at a chlorothalonil-azole combination and that should be more than adequate to tie us over to T2.